Good morning YouTube, how are you? Welcome to a Monday vlog, something that I haven't done for a while. So it's Monday morning, it is about 10 minutes before the school run. I am in my gym wear for wishful thinking that I am going to pick up the workout I was meant to do this morning. I'm really struggling to get up on a Monday at the moment. Um, I just think like when we've had such a busy weekend, I'm so tired and I can't get out of bed. So I, oh, my sister's just turned up on the drive. So I was about to say, I've got my niece today. I didn't expect to have her this early. I thought she was coming at nine. She's looking at me like, what are you doing? <laughs> um, so I'm looking after my niece today and um, I've got Spencer today. I'm gonna to take Oscar to school. Isla has been here this weekend. Simon left at about quarter past seven to take her back to school. Um, it's a beautiful day outside and you're not going to preschool, no. So we're gonna go maybe go out um, somewhere with the two little ones, depending on how successful it is. Visit my grandparents. Um, go do a little bit of shopping and just have a Monday day. So I just thought I'd... That was a cold school run, wasn't it, Rosie Posy? Look, should we show everyone your beautiful hair? Should we show everyone your beautiful hair? Look, she's a gingerbread man, Spencer. Yeah. So the boys absolutely adore her. Well, all the children do, don't you, Spencer? Yeah. You love Rosie, don't you? Should we take your coat off? Oh, that was such a cold walk. I considered taking them for a little lap around the village, but it was that cold. Um, I, we didn't have any gloves on. My fingers were almost, like, they're really sore. And I was a bit worried about Rosie getting cold, even though she's wrapped up. It's extremely cold out there. Can I say cold any more times? What do you think? Little princess needs a nap, don't you, little princess? <laughs> Here she is. Say hello to everyone. Say hello, Rosie. <laughs> Isla put her hair up like this at the weekend. These two little pigtails. So cute, isn't it, Woo Woo? Isn't it, Rosie Woo? So I'm actually just making her some um, toast because her mum said she didn't eat much. So I figure she's going to sleep longer if I give her a little snack. So I'm just going to do her some toast. Yeah. Toast? Would you like some toast? And then um, we'll have a little play. So Rosie is asleep and I've just made Spencer this little um, dinosaur sensory tray. Not something we do often, but he absolutely loves playing with water, glitter, Play-Doh, lots of different textures. So he's got a few things and you're very excited, aren't you? Yeah. Okay. Like Should we put it down? Yeah. Yeah? Do you like it? <laughs> you love stuff like this, don't you? Spencer loves making loads of mess, and usually, I'm gonna be honest, I'm like, don't make a mess, aren't I? Does mummy always tell you to not make messes? I don't like him playing with water day to day because obviously it goes all over the floor, but that's the type of thing he likes doing, just putting anything in water. So you've got glitter in here, Play-Doh, you've got a little pot you can make a little potion, you've got a fork that you can you make some shapes in the Play-Doh, make some pretty patterns. And then this, you can cut a hexagon, I think it's a hexagon, <laughs> shape. So mummy's just gonna to go do some washing, okay? Yeah. Is that all right? Yeah. Good boy. Yeah, so we will go outside in a minute. It's just, he um, was sat really nicely with, with like a couple of bits of wood that he'd got out of the log basket and was like hammering away. And I was like, oh, do you want me to make you a little tray of Play-Doh? 
and then it just went on from there. So um, yeah, he's really happy doing that. As I said, I am not the easiest uh, person around mess. Like I appreciate children make mess, but when he gets water out five times a day from the fridge, he helps himself to the fridge and like pours it all over the floor. It is stressful. So at least that's controlled. I have got some washing to do. Spence had an accident in his bed last night, so I've got to go and sponge his mattress um, because the protective sheet wasn't on because he'd also had an accident the night before. It's not something he does often, actually. He's really good at night. He's been dry at night since last summer, but um, he was poorly Friday, Saturday, so I think that's why. Just overtired, not waking up. Um, so anyway, long story, I've got to go sponge his mattress while Rosie's asleep put the washing, all the duvet and everything in the washing machine. Mum life, that is mum life. Um, and then I'm gonna make a coffee and then we are gonna get out in the garden. And then hopefully I'm gonna see my grandma. I'm gonna ring her now and find out um, what time we can go over. But yeah, I, re I literally love it when the sun's shining, you know. I'm looking outside if there's a squirrel in our garden, like climbing down the tree. The sun's shining and I'm like, I feel, feel good. For a Monday, I feel good. So this is how we ended up. <laughs> Massive mess, but it's okay. Oh my gosh, he's trashing something else over there. He's now colouring in. What are you colouring in? Log. The log. Yeah, this is how it ends up every time, which is why I don't like doing it, because his aim is just to make loads of mess, but I'm sure it makes sense in his mind as to what he's doing. Um, but at least I've let him do it, and uh, it's a tick in the box, isn't it? And it's only a bit of mess. So I'll put that in the sink. So it's now, I'm now gonna make a coffee and then we're gonna go outside for 10 minutes and Rosie is still fast asleep. Excuse my hair, by the way, everyone. It is hair wash day. Monday night is when I wash my hair. Um, I'm on like a real hair growth journey at the moment and I only wash it twice a week and it's a Monday and a Friday. It's always a Monday night. So it's fresh for Tuesday because I tend to film on a Tuesday. And usually it puts me off filming on a Monday because I'm like, oh, I've got greasy hair, but it's not actually that greasy. And it's just normal, isn't it? It's just normal that we have days like this and we have minimal makeup, but yeah. is awake. Hello Rosie. We've just been having a little play in the living room, haven't we? I'm gonna go play in there and then we're gonna have some lunch. Oh, a bit bright. You love seeing yourself in the camera, don't you? Yeah. Spencer, are you watching Hey Dougie? <laughs> Zoned out completely. Hello little princess. Uh oh. What are you doing? What's she trying to get, Spen? Careful, because she's on your back. She's trying to, she's trying to climb on you. Yeah. Are you looking after her? Yeah. Can you look after her while I make your sandwiches? Yeah. Yeah. Who wants a sandwich? Does Rosie want the sandwich. Rosie, do you want some lunch? Do you want some lunch? You happy with hummus, darling? No? Do you want some ham? What do you want in your sandwich? Ham. Ham. 
this is what Rosie does every time I try and do something, isn't it, Rosie? <laughs> Climbs up my legs, don't you, darling? Oh, so we've learnt how to do things with one hand, haven't we? <laughs> I'm doing ham in your sandwich. Uh, that's for Rosie the hummus. We're making Spencer a ham sandwich, aren't we, Spencer? in the car seat want to sleep in the car Spencer doesn't nap so bedtime is gonna be fun tonight and I've decided that I'm gonna to have to continue this vlog tomorrow because I've got to go pick Oscar up in half an hour then he's got piano lessons then he's got football training and I'm on my own with the three of them and <laughs> it's gonna be very difficult to pick the camera up um, so yeah so I'm gonna continue this tomorrow because it's just very hard. I didn't even pick the camera up at my grandparents because, you know, it's quite hard there with the children and the grandparents and just trying to like see them and socialize as well as look after the children. So um, yeah, feeling a bit tired now. Um, not sure what the prospect of me doing a workout is, but I will catch back up with you tomorrow and uh, hopefully fill you in. Good morning, it is 6.15 and I'm sat outside the gym waiting for my friend and I'm very tired but I'm very much looking forward to working out today as soon as I missed yesterday. I actually, um, I actually went on my treadmill for 45 minutes last night uh, walking whilst chatting to my husband just to feel like I'd done something. Um, I've got a new treadmill actually. I've got one that goes in the house and goes under the sofa. Um, apologies, I never know where to look with this phone. It's here. I, can't, I never look in the right place. I think the camera's over here, but it's here. <laughs> um, so yeah, so I did that last night. I'm now meeting my friend Harriet and we are going to do, I've just written us a plan. Um, hopefully she's up for it. Bit of, bit of running, bit of a stepping machine, um, bit of arms and abs and then some legs. So a bit of an, a full body workout. o'clock you just woken up yeah. <laughs> your brother's still asleep so I go wake him up yeah so that's the boys all gone off to school and preschool it is 8 30 um, and it was a bit chaotic so I actually didn't get my camera out at all I just as you saw filmed a little bit on my phone so I am going to do my hair and makeup and then get some stuff done. I haven't actually decided what I'm gonna to do today. I'm obviously filming this, which is part of what I need to do and edit this. Um, but also, I really, I really need to go and get some bits for, uh, we're going away for a few days next week. And I really need to go and get some bits and I didn't know whether to go and do it and then film a little haul for you. So I might go and do that. It's either I do that or I start actually organising um, my cupboards, which I need to organise. I'm going to show you something super embarrassing right now. But I'm going to just 
show you because I'm sure there's many of you that are watching this that have found yourself in the same predicament. So, cupboards under the stairs. Lovely, looks so nice from the outside. This one at the end is pretty well organised. I know it looks a mess, but that's just because there's a um, buggy folded up down there. But just got some coats hung up in there. Um, there's a little football basket with Oscar's football bits. And then there's the buggy and umbrella. If you took that out, it's all really clean and organised. This one, however, is the most used cupboard. <laughs> Are you ready? What a disgrace. So we've got like a few shelves and some baskets full of shoes. Look at it. It's so embarrassing. Whenever I have to open it, yeah, I get so embarrassed. So I need to sort that out. Um, and then I also have, excuse the kitchen, as obviously the kids have just had breakfast, dishwasher open. Um, so I also have some areas in this house that are not very well organised. And then the pan drawer, again, organised. And this cupboard, lids at the bottom, these are all organised. So, you know, I do have organised cupboards. I feel like this space up here is a bit of an organised chaos, but it's still, everything's where it should be. However, I also have cupboards <laughs> where they look like this. So I really need to go through my cupboards. This one is the same. Look at it. Just look at it. <laughs> it's such a mess. Yeah, so I just need, I need to do that. So on my agenda for this week is to actually go through those cupboards and organize them. So I feel like my house from looking on the outside in like, apart from general like breakfast mess, is pretty well organized. It's pretty tidy most of the time. There's places for everything. But inside some of my cupboards, I just find it easier to shut the door and forget about it. And I'm sure there's many people that feel the same. But that is, that is just me. I'm in such a rush all the time to do everything that Oh yeah, I can't do everything all of the time, but I know once I get on top of it, it stays quite nice and organized. So I've also got my airing cupboard to do. So that is another video for either this week or next week. So I'm either gonna do that today or I'm gonna go and get some bits for our holiday, which I'm, I'm leaning towards that because I genuinely haven't been shopping for so long. I need to get them kid, the kids some stuff. Um, and I just, yeah, maybe it will be nice to go and do that. So I'm probably going to nip into Bath, which is our closest, um, town, city, it's a city. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go do that and take you with me. Also, sucks to be a woman, doesn't it? It's the only time I ever get spots and they're always here. Arr, but there we are. So I'm finally ready. I took a call from my dad and we were on the phone for ages. So I actually didn't film me doing my makeup or my hair. Um, but hair and makeup is done. Always feels so much better when your hair's fresh. And I did, that was a bit of fluff there. I did put on uh, my usual gym leggings, new balance trainers and a big massive green puffer coat. Then I realised I'm going to Primark and it's so hot in there. So I thought, no, I'm going to make a bit more effort today. So I've just popped on this Zara dress, which I would usually wear with a belt around it if I was being a bit more smart. But this is just a casual, smart casual outfit. And I've got some really good tight, thick tights on. And then I've got my boots, these tall Chelsea boots, which I love from Jones, the boot makers. Um, sorry about the coat on the bed I've obviously been having a try and on session and then I'm just going to wear this with a black coat and probably a scarf before I go I just wanted to show you a couple of things one is a new toy I've got it is this this is my new little toy it actually needs to go under the sofa which I'm going to do now but it fits underneath that sofa excuse the cotton reel of course I've got a three-year-old what else would you see under the sofa um that fits under the sofa and it's got a little remote control that you 
use to turn it on and you can get your steps in at night. So last night I stood here whilst in front of the TV, whilst my husband sat on the sofa and I did my steps because I hadn't managed to get out all day. It is the most revolutionary thing and it was under 200 pounds. So I'll leave a link down below. It's not an ad or anything, but I'll leave a link down below um, for you to go and buy one. But honestly, I absolutely love it. And you can also get like um, a desk that goes over the top so you can stand on and do your work, which I'm going to look into when I'm editing. But yeah, brilliant piece of equipment. just got back to the car and that was hard work I got some bits which I'm going to show you in another video but I had to park so far away from town to what I usually park because the height of this vehicle wouldn't go under where I normally go ah and then I bought so much stuff in Primark not just for myself that the bag was really heavy and then I needed to go to another shop, M&S, because I needed to get something for the boys and ended up buying food when I was in there. So I then had this really heavy Primark bag, food which is quite heavy, and another bag from M&S. And I had to traipse it all the way back here. Super glad I didn't wear my really thick hot coat because the reason I'm even opening the camera before I get home is because I know you are all interested in what I eat in a day. And I spoke briefly yesterday about how I like to be in a calorie deficit for the first couple of days of the week. Well, I haven't even thought about food until now. Honestly, I haven't. Obviously, I've been to the gym. And this is my first meal of the day. And it is a M&S wrap. It is the chicken, carrot and hummus wholemeal wrap, which is right up my street. Um, peppered chicken breast and pickled carrots. And it's also got spinach in it and it's 434 calories 13 grams of fat and three grams of saturated fat so i'm gonna eat this then i'm gonna drive home it's later than i thought it is now two o'clock or just before two i reckon i'm gonna be home about quarter past 20 past two not gonna show you what i got on here but i'm hoping i can film my primark haul but i won't be able to edit anything so I don't know if to do that or whether to film it tomorrow. Anyway, I'm going to go home and do some work. So I'm going to sit at my laptop no matter what and get some stuff done before I do the school run. So I just got home and I thought I'd show you the size of the bag I got. I got had to buy one of those big ones. Um, and I got quite a few bits in there, which I'll have to show you in another video. But seeing as... Um, I'm filming. I thought I'd show you what I got in M&S. So we are, it's half term next week and we're going away for a couple of nights with all three children. And I went into M&S to get gloves for the children because we haven't got any and these are like a one, one size fits all. So I'm for seven quid. How many pairs are there? Uh, three pairs. So I thought that was really good. Um, and then I spotted this jumper, this kind of colour block jumper, which I think is very 80s actually. Um, and I thought, oh, that's so nice. Like that will really bring out the colour in like Oscar's eyes. Then I saw this one, which I thought was similar colours in the, you know, younger boy section, which I got for Spencer. And I thought it was three for two. I thought this was included, so I was like, oh, I know, I'll get Isla a matching one because she actually really likes blue. Um, I know it's from, um, well, who cares if it's from the boys' section? I don't really, I don't really think it matters, boys, girls. I wear men's jumpers, you wouldn't know the difference. But I thought she could wear that with black leggings and some Converse, um, and I thought that they could all match, and it would just look really cute. So, um, yeah, I could not resist. Anyway, when I got to the till, she said, oh, you've got two, three for two. Um, 
do you want to get one more thing? <laughs> so I ended up getting this super cute jumper for Spencer. And he's got some like cream ribbed Zara leggings that I thought would look really gorgeous with that. So yeah, I just thought I'd show you that. And I think that all those jumpers came to about 40 quid, um, which I didn't think was too bad because M&S is, oh, and those actually. Yeah, it was about 40, 40 43 pounds, I want to say. So I didn't think that was too bad. Um, got some nice things. Let's just hope Isla wears this now. If she doesn't, then Oscar will have to have two. So we're home from preschool. Mr. Spencer's got a cup of tea. You, Spencer, He's had a banana and some raisins and now a cup of tea. You're very hungry, aren't you? He's watching a um, wolf documentary. Do you love wolves? Yeah. I love big bad wolf. Do you? I love a scary big bad wolf. We have been sat together for about half an hour watching the TV, but now I've got up to start prepping dinner as we've got to leave to go and get Oscar in about five, five or six minutes. I spoke to my dad earlier and he said he had toad in the hole. So <laughs> I'm literally making that for Simon and the boys. I got these in M&S earlier. I've got a BBC good food recipe. I'm gonna stick that in the oven for 15 minutes make the batter up out of eggs and flour and milk and then i've got tender stem broccoli to go on the side easy quick now i'm not having that i got myself a veggie meal from m&s just because i really liked the look of it i got this um veggie collie penang curry which looks amazing looks really really nice i do love a curry and i do love veggie dishes so that's my dinner tonight. I don't ordinarily buy microwavable stuff, but I felt like it today. I feel really tired from getting up early um, to go in the gym. So yeah, as I say, we're leaving in about five minutes to go, well, probably less now, because I've been nattering away. I'm gonna sort this dinner out and then go get Oscar. Hey everybody, it's now the third day of this vlog. It's now Wednesday, and I've got a funny feeling I didn't sign off last night. So I thought I would end this vlog um, here and hope that you enjoyed a couple of days in the life with me and look forward to seeing you all again soon if you did enjoy this video please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed already and i shall see you all very soon